The accusations began last year during the case against Jonathan Aronson, charged with sexually abusing a young girl. At the time, Karen Hagan's opponent in her bid for re-election accused the Saratoga County District Attorney of allowing the case to linger for months due to favoritism. Did you know Mr. Aronson? I have no idea who he is or his family or anything like that. Did you ever give him any favors or anything? No. Hagan says the case was a complicated one, the child victim coming forward months after the assault. The DA says she refused to talk publicly about the case, or any others for that matter, until it was adjudicated. Last week, Aronson was sentenced to three and a half years in prison. I have an ethical obligation not to be talking about cases in the public. To me, ethics are paramount and, and foremost, and that's just who I am. The DA has also been the target of criticism for trying to suppress leaks in another high-profile case, the November officer-involved shooting with an off-duty Vermont sheriff's deputy. Everyone survived, but just hours after the shooting, the mayor and the public safety commissioner held a press conference sharing details on the investigation. It was 10 hours after the incident had occurred. It was a situation where the crime scene was still being processed. However, Saratoga's unique form of government does allow for the Public Safety Commissioner, James Montagnino, to speak on pending cases. And that has impacted the, the case. Is that one of the reasons why there hasn't been any charges yet? Again, I, 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 I am bound by my ethics to not talk about the, the specifics of that case. Hagan says she is now waiting on a judge's decision to prohibit the flow of information going forward. She says she's leaving the decision on charges up to the grand jury. Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.